Welcome once again to our scripture, daily scripture reflection today, uh, September the 8th, Wednesday, uh, 23rd week, but it's the feast of the birth, the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so we'd like to note, first of all, in the, in the gospel today, it's a long gospel, it's the beginning of the gospel of Matthew, it's a whole list of people in the Old Testament, the genealogy of Jesus. And I think for reflection purposes, let's just skip all those difficult and hard to read names and go straight to the last few chapter, the last few verses of chapter one um, about the birth of uh, Jesus. Because in celebrating the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we are also obviously celebrating the birth of Jesus the Christ, okay? Because today's gospel highlights Mary's role uh, in salvation, in the incarnation. In other words, we emphasize her yes, her fiat, thy will be done, okay? That ultimately changed the world. And so, yes, it is true, Jesus is the perfect expression of God's love, but Mary, in a sense, foreshadowed that she's the one who brought it to light, um, to the light of day, okay? So Mary's yes, uh, we cannot forget, of course, Joseph in that yes. The end of the uh, genealogy today, in the, uh, the, second, the gospel reading says, And Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called the Messiah. Yes, Jesus, who is the fulfillment of the promise of God to his people. Jesus is the promise, is the promised Messiah, okay? At any rate, listen, after the Annunciation, of course, maybe especially after the angel's words to, uh, to Joseph, uh, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. I suspect like most couples stepping into parenthood, Mary and Joseph must have asked the same kind of questions that most parents ask today in the birth of a child. Will the child grow up to be healthy? Is the baby healthy at the moment? Uh, uh, will we be good parents? What will he grow up to be? You know, those are typical questions parents ask. Obviously, Joseph and Mary must have asked that too. But they certainly had no inkling, no way of understanding, imagining the plan, the unfolding of God's plan in their life. They too experienced, as couples do, the birth of a child. Great joy, but a real sense of uh, uncertainty as well. Okay, so let's face it. Life rarely goes the way we imagine it should or would. Okay, life goes in its own stream, but according to God's plan. And so today, we celebrate the birth of Mary, Blessed Virgin Mary. So our first sentiments, I think, should be uh, of gratitude and praise to God for the gift of the Holy Family and for the gift of our families also called to be holy. Yes, even in the, the brokenness, even in the vulnerability and the dysfunctional ways in which our families sometimes live, we are still called to be holy, okay? Um, that means praying for healing or at least acceptance and love of one another in our families, okay? Secondly, I think the feast today is an opportunity for us to, to, uh, to remember that we are all called by God in so many different ways according to the gifts that he has given us, okay? And we cannot, we ourselves cannot imagine the unfolding of the gifts of God, of the plan of God. We don't know how or when the next call will be, the next call will be for us. But I, I hope like uh, Mary and like Joseph at, at the birth of Jesus, we too can hear God at least saying, trust me. That's key in our relationship and Mary shows us that, okay? Happy feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin.